Hello and welcome. Today I have a video about MRI phase images and how to adjust ITK snap color maps to show the right type of information in the phase images. You can see that this is a human brain and now I'm zooming into the frontal part, frontal inferior cortex. And here you can see that there is lots of phase variation with this black and white lines. It looks, of course, interesting. It looks fascinating. But actually, these phase values are just cyclic values between minus pi and pi, or 0 to 2 pi, depending on how this data is processed. And therefore, the difference between black and white is actually not as much. So from minus pi to pi, the difference should be actually very small, because this is a cyclic measurement. And therefore here I'm going to simply adjust the default ITK snap grayscale color map to basically wrap on itself. Here you can see that I am adjusting the, I put an extra node in the middle, made it white, and then I went to the last nodes on the right hand side and made them black so that basically I, in a shorthand way, created a wrapped color map. This gives a bit better a feeling about the nature of the phase values that are recorded in that region. And you can indeed also, if you don't like the too much like white appearance of the image, you can swap the black and white and make it inverse wrapped grayscale. Here you can see that I'm adjusting the whites to be black and blacks to be white. And these are all just for like human eyeballs, whichever one you prefer when you want to investigate these phase images. However, there is still a problem, which is that like phase measurements are a cyclic measurement. And in, it is, in this black and white color map, we do not see which region of the circle we are looking at. Therefore, here I am going to adjust our wrapped grayscale color map to indicate which quadrant of the circle we are in, so to say. To do that, I'm going to add these two extra nodes in the color map scale, and I'm going to give them specific colors. And in this case, I'm going to make one of them blue and the other one red, so that the cyclic nature of this color map will be from black to blue, blue to white, white to red, and red to black again. And now when I use this color map to visualize my phase measurements, I can see the nature of the measurements more correctly. I do not have the strong edges that are due to cyclic nature of the data and using the inappropriate color map, at, uh, such was the case in the beginning. But on top of that, I can see which part of the circle I am in. It gives a bit more information. Of course, a bit harder to look at, maybe, or until you get used to it. Here I am just saving this color map as black to blue to white to red, cyclic, so that in the future I can just load this color map again. As the last point, I would like to demonstrate why this is an issue. Here I made a toy three-dimensional image that is just a set of continuously changing phase values that are between minus pi to pi. And at each little stripe there that I'm going through right now, the difference is exactly the same, the difference between the values, considering the cyclic nature of these measurements. However, here you see that there is a very strong edge between black and white, and it looks like there is, a, there is an edge there. However, there is no edge because we are dealing with this cyclic measurement that is phase. The moment I switch to my uh, cyclic black and white color map, I see a much more natural and intuitive visualization of the measurements that I made. So each step has the same amount of difference with regards to the previous and the next step, and I do not see any strong edges here. And now I'm demonstrating the advantage of the 
this um, extra colored blue and red color map in a way that it shows the which region of the cycle that we are in on top of uh, black and blue. That's all for today. Thank you.